Hi, today what I want to talk about is what Dexter is going to take on his upcoming trip to Wilmington, Delaware. So stay tuned. I wanted to thank the Greater Wilmington Conventions and Visitors Bureau for sponsoring Dexter and my upcoming trip to Delaware. Delaware is actually one of the states that's on Dexter's bucket list that he actually hasn't visited yet. So this will be a totally new experience for us and we're really excited. Dexter will be taking his BFF Levi and I'll be taking my friend Chris and we're going to explore Wilmington, Delaware for three full days. So we'll have lots of things to show you when we return. When I'm traveling with Dexter, I do like to wait a few days before we actually leave, before deciding on what it is that I want to pack. Because we do a lot of things outside, weather really plays an important part in what kind of things that I'm going to pack for Dexter. So when I took a look at the weather, it looks like it's going to be in the mid-60s to possibly the high 60s, maybe even sneaking in into the low 70s. There might be a slight chance of rain, so I want to take that into consideration. Um, I always like to try to pack more than I need for Dexter, with always knowing that, of course, I can always stop at a store and pick up anything that I might need that I didn't pack. But so for right now, I'm just going to kind of go over some of the things that I'm going to pack for Dexter and kind of maybe some of the reasons on why. So at this point, even though we're still in spring, we're officially spring now, Dexter can get a little stuffy in the back seat. He does travel in the back of my car in a crate. Uh, my car doesn't have air vents in the back seat, so it only has the air vents in the front. So it is time for me to pack his portable fan. Um, this will allow the air to circulate a little bit better back there so he doesn't get too, too stuffy. So I'll be taking that. Um, this fan's actually pretty neat because on the one side of the fan, it actually has an attachment that has two frozen ice packs that I can use. So I can put the ice pack there and attach it that way, and then it's really going to chill things off. We're not there yet. It's not that hot, so I don't need to worry about that. I just want to kind of keep things moving in the car so it's not so, you know, stuffy back there for him. The other thing that I will be doing for Dexter that I take all the time is... If you've seen, he does kind of have a furry butt, so sometimes accidents do happen on the tail feathers. So I do always take some, oh, here he comes, he thinks I have snacks. So I do always take some wet wipes with me, and I usually put some in a little um, plastic bag. You probably can't see, but he's right there thinking I have food. I put them in a little plastic bag so that they can be a little bit more portable. Um, this is the brand that I'm currently using. Let's see if maybe it'll zoom and be okay. At this point, this is the only one that I've found. <laughs> there he is. See, I told you things the streets. This is the only one that I've personally found that doesn't have any nasty preservatives or chemicals in there. Even ones that on the front of the bag will say, you know, natural and safe and all that kind of stuff, even for babies. If you flip over the back and you read that ingredient panel, you might be surprised. So again, back Back to reading that ingredient list. I'm not going to get on my soapbox of that, but this one's safe for Dexter. And he's thinking I'm putting food there, so he's going to start snorting, and that's what you hear. The other thing about <laughs> walking and having a dog, of course, is we will take plenty of poop bags. I, I might have to move them. He does think they're treats. I do make sure that I take enough. Again, I can always buy them on the road. Um, each poop bag container usually has about 20 or so rolls, depending on the brand. So my theory is I always bring a roll for the day. <laughs> so each day has its own roll. Um, that way I will never run out of poop bags. And they're also placed all over the place. So I have them in various pockets and in the car. And so I end up with more than one poop roll a day. But, you know, I don't want to leave his poop behind. Um, the other thing that I do is... Some places when we go outside, especially at nighttime, it's not well lit. Um, it looks like this one's going to be lit. But just in case, I do have a little pen light so that I can <laughs> so that I can um, pick up his poo if, if there's no light. And I just clipped this little thing around it so I can, you know, have that on there when I go outside. I um, haven't really had to use this lately, but I do kind of take it just in case. 
We will also be possibly dressing Dexter in the mornings. It just kind of depends. So he does have a, a light sweater and he does have his rain jacket in case it is uh, rainy. So again, just depends on the weather, but that will go with us. Um, we are still wearing um, dog boots a lot of the time, um, depending on the weather a bit, you know, if it's even muddy outside, I like him to wear boots. That way I can keep his feet relatively clean. And then when we come into the hotel or anything like that, I can take the boots off, make sure, make sure he's clean. The other thing for us is I'm starting to consider him wearing boots more often because of chemicals on lawn, broken glass, hot pavement. So you might be seeing Dexter in some more boots, um, as we go on. Um, also, for the things that I'm talking about, if, if I think that it's important or you might have, you know, a problem trying to find them, I will put links down in the description of some of our favorites um, so that you can kind of peek in there and see if there's anything that you'd like to check out. We always take water. Um, I will probably end up taking Dexter's larger water container. So it looks like this, but it's a bit taller. Um, it is stainless steel, so that helps keep the water cool um, or warm if it's the winter. And then it does have a little serving cup, so you can actually pour the, wa the water in there and they can drink it. Um, I use the serving cup when I'm trying to be light and I only have you know our small little water. If we're in the car or something like that, I actually pour the water into a, a glass bowl versus you know the plastic. I don't have treats, I promise, Dexter, no treats. We, okay, so let's go to that. This may be why he's snorting a little bit. So even though this is empty, it is a glass container, and I do make sure that I fill it with healthy treats before we leave. That way I can reward good behavior. I can also get the photos by, you know, taking the treat and putting it over by the camera and having Dexter, you know, Dexter and Levi look at me. Um... And for his treats, you know, I just make sure that they're healthy. Um, I tend to just be a, a one ingredient person for treats. So his treats tend to be 100% meat. Um, so I can actually incorporate those treats into daily calories and just kind of cut his calories a little bit um, during our travels. So the other part is his food. So Dexter is on a fresh food diet. He's currently um, eating uh, DIY raw that I prepare for him. Um, so we actually pack two different coolers um, because we're gonna be traveling. We're leaving on Thursday morning and coming home late Monday. So I will pack a a hard cooler that has his frozen meals that I've already prepped and then we have a travel cooler that will hold you know the day of food so he'll have his little he gets fed three times a day so he'll have three little containers um, of his food already portioned out for him and then I just put a little ice pack in there um, and then for Dexter again with those long spaniel ears which he'll actually be getting a, a ear a haircut here in a couple days get shorten them up so he doesn't trip on them because he does trip on his ears when he walks um, but he will have his little snoot on and this is what goes over his head and holds those ears up so that he can eat his food and, and not get it on there so that actually gets packed in here um, the other thing that we will take is he is on some medications because of his neurological disease so we have obviously take all his medications um, and I always take more I usually take at least a week extra just so that I you know it's not that's not something that I can just pick up in the store so I'd have to have my vet call it into a, a pharmacy in order to pick something up if I ran out or you know what have you so the other part of his medical is I do take um, so I take a, a, a binder and it has my stuff in it you know where we're staying what we're doing you know notes and that kind of stuff um, I keep my receipts in here when we're traveling but I also have his medical information in here as well um, so Dexter is scratching that that cooler thinking he has something in there to eat <laughs> it's empty Dexter I do also take a couple of um, different things for him to lay on or stay dry. So I do take a towel so that, you know, again, depending on the weather, I can dry him off. I don't want to go into the hotel with him be, being muddy. Um, if we're going to an outside cafe, sometimes I'll bring that. It just, 
kind of depends on the weather. If it's a little wet and damp out there, I'll bring it bring it with us so that I can put it on the floor and have him lay on that instead of laying on, on the wet cement. I also do take a throw blanket. That way it's an option for me, again, depending on what it is that we want to do. If we decide we want to go to the riverfront and hang out and, and be on the grass, I might throw that down and we can sit on it. I can throw it on top of the hotel bed so Dexter can um, rest on the bed without being on their blankets. Sometimes I just use his towel. It just, again, just kind of depends on how much space I have. So if this doesn't fit, then I can just go to the, the, to the towels. I also take Dexter's grooming tools. So I take a, a brush, a comb, and some scissors. That way I can continue to keep him brushed and clean. Um, and I always take scissors that way, you know, if he does pick up any burrs or anything like that and I can't quite brush them out, I have the option of, of cutting them with the scissors. So that always goes with, with him. When we first arrive in a hotel, I do place a belly band on him. This goes over his boy parts. That way, if he decides he wants to try to mark something, this will actually catch any of the little wee-wee that might come out. So this is just kind of a, a safety thing for me. Um, he hasn't marked a hotel room, but I feel, and if he's going to mark a hotel room or if a dog um, might think about marking a hotel room or another thing, usually it's going to happen at the beginning when they're doing that investigating and moving around and checking and seeing where they are. So for Dexter, I put it on in the beginning while he snoops and checks things out and all that kind of stuff. Once he's settled down and he's okay, then I just take it off. Um, and then I don't have any concerns. It makes me feel more comfortable knowing that if he did decide after nine years to mark our hotel room, it's not going to go anywhere. Um, so I do have that. And this is really good too. And they make them in, in girl versions too. So, you know, if you have a dog um, who's still kind of learning potty training or you end up in, in a hotel with, you know, you're on the 15th floor and the morning potty break is a little tough to get down there, you can at least have an option to kind of help them make sure that they don't go on the floor. And a lot of times when they're just wearing the band, then they actually don't pee either. So again, double bonus for a few minutes. I also have um, a little pouch that I have some of Dexter's first aid stuff in here. Um, it's a little combination of a prepared first aid kit and then some of my extras. Um, I think I've mentioned before that I'm still on the hunt to kind of, you know, make us a, a new customized one. Um, but it has things like some wraps in there. It also has belly upset stuff. So if you were to get an upset stomach, if you were to be nauseous or even get diarrhea, I have some natural um, supplements in here for that. It also has a homeopathic in here. If you were to get an injury or get a sprain, it's going to help cut that inflammation. Just little things like that in there. Then we are sneaking up on tick season, so it's time for me to really think about prepping Dexter's body with um, natural deterrence. So I do have a, a DIY tick spray for him um, and it does need to be applied a few times a day. So this is definitely something that's going to be going with us all the time. And with all of Dexter's trappings, it can be really difficult if you're trying to pack your dog stuff and your stuff and your sharing suitcases to be trying to find things. Um, so a lot of times I will pack Dexter stuff in uh, his own bag. Um, and so this one has lots of different pouches. It even has a little, you know, pouch here that I can put his water in. If I need to, I can put my water in there as well. And, and again, just makes it a little easier. I tend to put this in the trunk at the very end so that it's accessible for me. I try to make sure that my car doesn't necessarily scream out traveler. So this kind of looks like a Percy kind of thing. So I don't really like that being shown as, as so much visual for them. So with Dexter and his neurological condition, the one thing that's always in my car, and I brought it out here just so I can bring it back over here for you, but it's his dog stroller. Um, so I'm not sure if it's even gonna show in the, in the video, but so see. <laughs> so he does have a portable dog stroller um, because he does like to walk, he does like to explore, but after a while, sometimes he gets tired Sometimes his body just can't keep up with his mind, so he needs that little break. So when he gets tired like that or his body is being a little achy, I can plop him into the stroller and we can move along and we can keep exploring. Um, I do need to make sure that 
it is an accessible place. So when we are choosing our adventures, we do try to make sure that it is something that we can do with the stroller um, or that it's short. So if it's some big hike or something like that, I won't say big hike with Dexter. I'm not a big hiker either, um, but I do try to limit that to, you know, about 30 minutes. That way it doesn't tax him too much. We do now have a dog backpack for Dexter that he can fit in, believe it or not. Remember, he's about 30 pounds and then I can carry. Um, and he does fit in there securely. We haven't actually had the chance to really use it yet. Um, being that he's 30 pounds, it is very, it is comfortable. It's actually not, doesn't feel really heavy to carry him. Um, but it would be more challenging for me. So we haven't had that chance yet, but I do take it with me. So it's inside his stroller so that again, I always have the two options. Um, when we're exploring a place that we haven't been to, I actually put the backpack in the bottom of the stroller because the bottom of the stroller has a, a little um, carry bag kind of thing. And again, just like the stroller, the backpack's actually always in my car too. You just never know when you're gonna need it. So it's just always there. So that about wraps up what I'll be packing for Dexter on our upcoming trip to Wilmington, Delaware. So remember to pause and enjoy life, and we will see you next week. Each Wednesday, Dexter and I will put on new travel content, so don't forget to hit the subscribe and click the bell, and we will see you Wednesday. Mm -hmm.